Hello everyone, welcome to a season 13 top 16 game between Pat and Maxi John. Let's see what Pat is running. Pat is running a, looks like a Wakanda list. He's bringing some spiders, Miles and ASM, and he's bringing Bill and Thanos to help him out, and Black Hat as well. We could, oh, it looks like he could play spiders, uh, but he's not bringing spider cards. So it looks like this is a Wakanda list. And on the other side is Maxijon. He is playing Brotherhood. It looks like he's bringing Zemo, Hulk, Rhino, and X-23 to help him out in his squad. There's no Magneto here. This is a Mystique-led team. Let's see uh, how this goes. I'm going to let them know where you're live. Joining me on commentary is Kahal. How's it going, man? Good morning. Yeah, all good here. What do you I'm think excited of to the... see how this one shakes out. Yeah, this is uh, this is going to be great. Pat is, uh, is a... Uh, is a phenomenal player. He often win he wins a lot of events, and I actually was checking out Maxi John's on Longshanks, and and he uh, he wins a lot of events from where he is too. So this is uh, these are two consistently great players, and uh, and it's always it's always fun to see a clash of of uh, very strong players like we've basically been seeing in the in the cuts. Uh, so this is another great game coming up, I think. All right. What do you think of uh, Wakanda versus the Brotherhood here? Well, obviously Wakanda can start off really strong with Spirit, but I think Deception kind of counters that because there's only so much you can do uh, to really push that strong turn one play when anyone can get kidnapped, right? Yeah, that is that is really interesting. And also, look at the so the crises have just come up here. We've got scoundrels and extremists. So we're getting a high point game, but it's all a high like high threat game, but it's also a high scoring game. So this game could be over uh, pretty quick. The senators are um, is a mystique brotherhood favorite. So that's uh, Pat is. I feel like Pat's up against it right now based on just that uh, that extract drop, but. For uh, sure, we'll but see. Pat also had Senators in his uh, uh, three, so uh, presumably he's also got a good plan for it. So it'll be interesting to see how that shakes out. Yeah, that's um, uh, that, yeah, this is exciting. We'll see how this goes. Uh, I guess that looks like oh, so Pat is the one who who won priority, so he got his secure and his extract. Okay, there, there you go. So let's see, uh, yeah, let's see how this goes here. They said they're picking nineteen threat. Uh, I'm not sure who that benefits more. Presumably, Maxi John knows what he's doing, but I haven't played Brotherhood, or at least Mystique Brotherhood, in a long time. Yeah, I think that um, you know they were uh, they were a big thing, or like this Mystique Senator's plan, where you uh, basically the idea is that J both Hulk and Juggernaut can grab an op opposing Senator placement. And then also leap or slide backwards to prevent them from getting attacked. And then Toad can also do that if he needs to. And then you've got Deception, which like basically prevents your opponent from taking one of your side because the punishment there could be punishment there. And then of course you got like Pyro to like clean up with his uh, pyrotechnics ability to like make them drop like all three of theirs kind of thing. So it's um that's like the general idea, and it was a big thing. Um during uh when it first came out like it it was like the terror of uh the meta for a couple of months everyone was worried about it and considering how to beat it in their lists uh so i think that with the kaiju a lot of the big uh, higher threat characters uh being toned down a bit it uh it means that this team is still uh, is is now i think i feel like people forgot about how how uh strong this team was so we'll see if it uh, if it is as strong as i think it still is yeah, no, it's always been an incredibly powerful kind of game plan for Mystique because obviously it just supports her leadership really well and she's a cheap leader so she can bring these big expensive pieces and splashes and it's just kind of hard to deal with. We'll see how good it actually is compared to, you know, Wakanda, which is one of the teams I would consider on top of the meta right now. Yeah, that's right. This is uh, this is gonna be uh, this is a this is gonna be good. I'm excited because both players are gonna need to bring their uh, their top game here if they want to take this one. Yeah. So like you, I was looking at Maxi John uh, on uh, Longshanks because obviously him being Australian or New Zealand, I always get the flags mixed up. So I'm not sure which 
he actually is, but he was playing in the Oceania bracket. And he was playing Sentinels for the majority of the league. And like he won all three games he played with Sentinels. So, That's... you know, it takes a, a special kind of good player to make those guys work. That is really impressive. Swirly Perth is in the chat. He's saying Johnny is a local and he's heard that his... Uh... His private life, he's gardening, playing video games, and going hiking. So that's uh, that's pretty cool. That's uh, And Loaded Dice is in the chat uh, cheering on Maxi Bon John. Okay, I'm not sure. Like, okay, now these guys in the chat know this guy probably maybe personally. Or So it's like, yeah. is, his, is I, his name? I uh, was wondering uh, if his name was uh, a Maxi Bon joke. It, it, I believe it's an ice cream or like a brand of ice creams uh, that you can get uh, in some places around Europe and for sure in Australia. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, I've not oh, heard of, I've not heard yeah. of that before. So so that's so I'm like I'm trying to understand like what the yeah, okay, there's a joke there that I'm missing. All right. That's good to know. Uh, maybe the people, maybe the the guys in chat can uh can help uh steer us in the right direction there. For sure. So if you were John, you're bringing that team that we're kind of talking about. So we're looking at presumably Hulk, Jugs, um and Mystique. And from there, you have, what, five threat left to play around with? So Toad and maybe Zemo? It's hard to tell in this scenario, right? Oh, sorry. Sorry, I was uh, talking to my wife. Uh, what was that? Uh, I'm just speculating as to the team that John brings because you've got Hulk, Juggernaut, and Mystique, and that's kind of the foundation of this Senators team that everyone's afraid of, right? right? Yeah. And from there, you have... About five threat left to play with, so you've got presumably Toad, and then a three of your choice, and I'm thinking maybe Zemo or he had X23 in there. That's kind of a strange pick for Brotherhood, so maybe her. Yeah, exactly. I think that uh, your three is flex is a, is a pretty flexible spot. But let's see if he plays the typical list. All right, I'll uh, I'll go through this. Let's start with the red side with Pat. He's uh, playing Wakanda six wide here, so he's bringing Black Panther. Shuri, Okoye, and Storm with Beta Ray Bill and Miles. And he's bringing Spirit, Brace, Advanced R&D, Mission, Objective, and Wakanda Forever. On the blue side, we have the Mystique Brotherhood team. He's bringing the Blob instead of uh, Ron Zuma here. So he's bringing a full Brotherhood team except Hulk is the Splash. We've got Do You Know Who I Am, Deception, Mission, Objective, Fallback, Brace for Impact. Here we go. This is the Mystique Dream Team, basically. So... I mean, I mean, it is. This is the three threat is the flex is the flex spot. So, yeah, it is the flex spot, and Blob isn't the one I immediately considered, but I suppose he is uh, quite resilient compared to a lot of um, the Wakandans, and he can push them if they push him, which is uh, quite interesting. Okay, so this is um, this is I think they're pointing out a glitch or something that's going on in the mod. Uh, this happened again when I streamed another Australian player, and that. Um, one of his cards, one of the blue side's cards, are appearing off to the side where he just tabbed, like where he's holding his. See, look at he's he's applying conditions and things to Toad, and uh, and but he, his mouse is over here where his roster was created. So I don't know what's going on there. This is I don't know if this is like a region thing or like something, but maybe it's a the, the situation is because they're so far away, so the internet. Uh, I don't know. That's my guess, but yeah, the connection can get stretched or something. Yeah, so he's gonna have to play maybe, but he's also maybe he has two cards is what I think is happening. All right, but uh, all right, I think that's Seem they're gonna to be it okay out. with it. Yeah. I don't know if this fixes the problem, but uh, but generally, I like to have when both players or in this case like all four people that are in the room are in the room reloading the mod often helps i should have asked them to do that i just i wasn't thinking about it at the time but uh i don't know if that helps but it feels like it does when everyone gets here you just reload the mod again so that everyone is in when it uh, it starts up so but it does i think they're gonna yeah i don't think there's anything game breaking going on pat did mention that his new his new computer was having a couple of issues he had uh, he had some issues last week that he had to work through so i'm hoping that there's no issues when it comes to actually uh for this game at all so let's see uh hopefully it all goes well once the dice tray works it's generally fine yeah uh everything else you can kind of you know 
work around usually and they had no problems rolling priority yeah yeah so all right i uh, think so the juggernaut is placed in a position here where he is going okay i'm or, i'm liking what's happening uh so juggernaut is placed in a position where he can grab either of the two opposite senators he's he's deployed across from and um hulk will i think will come out right beside blob here to be in the spot to be able to do the same thing oh, we're getting a little bit of lag um to do the same thing on the other two senators or like t so that they could both grab the middle senator um and but they could each grab their their closest flank senator or the one on the edges so all right let's see here i think we're uh, getting a lag spike So we just have to yeah, wait this it looks out. like it, but given the the distance, oh. it should come. Up. All right, we've got a disconnection here. Let's uh, let's switch this up a little bit. All right, well, we'll uh, we'll try this again, I guess. It's probably better if they just reload a whole new mod rather than like trying to save uh, save what they already did. They have all their cards Presumably, and all that. Presumably, especially when they can just put in the scenario and map that they had before. Yeah, and the deployment. And, like nothing was... started. Yeah. Looks like it's back up. All right, I have to. I'm gonna reload my mod here, or the. I have to open this back up again. Uh, let's see here. The background is awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just uh, it's not very. The background itself isn't very. Uh, it's like very pixelated, but it's funny. Okay. Yeah, it looks great. <laughs> yeah, it's like um, Patrick. You're saying I hate the mod features not working. You know what? You know what you sound like right now. You sound like uh, what was the password again? Oh crap! Uh, one sec. Uh I think I got it. Okay. You got it. All right. Hey, you don't want to say it on stream. But I, I think. Yeah, I was like, mm, we could. I mean, yeah, that's, I, it's I, not I, a genius guess. I, know, I, I, I guessed. <laughs> oh, look at that. All right. They're, uh, we're back in. They here. are continuing. So maybe uh, um, did, uh, did, I, did I just get kicked? Maybe? I don't know. All right. Here we go. Let's get no, this. They, they did DC. Okay. So, um, yeah, yeah, Patrick, you sound like a man yelling at the cloud. You know what I was thinking of? I was thinking of those people on the airplanes that complain when the Wi-Fi is down. <laughs> Whoa, shoot, shoot. All right, all right, we got this under control. Um, all right. Yeah, so Hulk, is, so Hulk was deployed exactly where I suspected he would deploy. This is basically like the optimal uh, position of these characters on this map for the Mystique team. Uh, basically, you can't have them in the middle of the deployment, in like the middle spot, either Hulk or Juggernaut, because if you do, they can't reach the edges, the like the flank senators. So, um, or like it's maybe you can, but it's incredibly tight, and I don't know if even the, the light post there even stops that from happening in this case. So, um, having them both offset by at least a small base, but in this case, it's a medium helps uh with being able to uh hit those flank senators would be flexible with who grabs uh which one of pats so um yeah well, how do you think this uh, mystique token from his leadership is going to uh play out on this uh in this game well when pat's gone six y it's going to be very hard to stop him getting to all areas of the board um but if he manages to win a side attritionally, like perhaps with Hulk or, I mean, a lot of these characters are, you know, tanky for their threat, but I can see if Storm and maybe Okoye end up on one side, they could definitely go down quick enough. And once he has some breathing room on a side, the token could be invaluable. Yeah. This is interesting here. He's got... Uh... We've got Bill has size for displacement, and but that's the only character that has that. And uh, and but the rest, but so that means that 
Bills. I don't know, like I don't know how much uh, he's gonna be able to impact. Like he's gonna have to pick one target basically to be able to try to deal with here. Pat does have priority, so um, let's see how he how he ends up dealing with this. If he goes with Bill here, probably maybe because he's the most he's the most resilient of the characters, I think. And he's also uh, I don't know I don't know it's it's tough right your your tanky characters in this case are also pretty fast which means that it, deception works even better against them. Ooh, Mike W saying Senator Scoundrel's favorite crisis combo in the game, and that's coming from a, a Brotherhood player. So uh, this is uh, I think what you're saying is that you're favoring John here. Yeah, it's tough to know who to go with first because. Your tanky characters are Panther and Bill, and they're both fast, and will get very messed up by deception. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, though, is that, uh, like, of course, like you say that, you say that, and it's like, yeah, but then they're also super tanky, so it's like they could be put in the mix here, and um, and then, but then not really uh, punished for it. So, like, I don't know, like, it depends. Looks like he's thinking about Panther. All right, he's yeah. He looks like he's uh, playing ah, the a Mike. <laughs> All right. So the question is like, um, do you put? Uh, do you grab the opposing senator? I think. I mean, th I think you do, right? I think you. I. I uh, looks like he's opting to grab. Just go into the middle as far away as possible. I think he knows that he's very. He's likely to get deception here. Or like it's a real possibility. I guess like we should ask Mike if uh, Mike, do we think uh, Panther should be deceptioned here? This might be the only chance because this mission is very clogs up, right? This. Uh... Yeah, it does. And he'll just put a Koye beside Panther as soon as possible, right? Exactly. At this point. Yeah. This is his only chance, I think. Yeah. Let's see if he takes it. I would start Mystique. Yeah, Mike's saying he. Mike's saying go with Mystique. Pop the card. Um, but, uh, looks like we're, uh, looks like Pat's going to be able to stop this. Maybe, uh, you put a core, no, where do you put a like he's not. Yeah, it looks like he's going no. with Hulk. Do you try burn brace here? Do you throw the Punisher van? Uh, so I think you just leap onto the middle secure, middle secure here, just like you do it. Panther did, but you take his, you take his piece, right? Like there, the Wakanda side, uh, the Wakanda yeah, side piece. Which he's doing. <laughs> Wakanda side piece. Don't talk about Shuri like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. He's he's pulling back a little bit. Interesting. Um, I guess the one thing that uh, that the spirit of Wakanda enables is Bill to. Double, do uh, what Hulk da is doing, right? He except like the throw part, the throw part of it. I mean, where he can, yeah, he can walk twice, pick up a piece, and throw Hulk. Yeah, and there's no one over there who can really punish him if that's what he decides to do now. Yeah, blocking the deception play. I like that here. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. So deception is uh, is offline. Let's see here. Starting with stealing with Hulk first is a mistake, but I lost. <laughs> Come on, dude. Oh man, don't say shit like that. I... <laughs> Anyone who makes it to cuts, you know, has already proven that they're a good player. So oh, I'm not gonna take that comment. Uh, I'll take it with a grain of salt, at least. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's right. Okay, so we're taking another piece. So the thing that's uh, that is that I can see Pat probably considering is that uh, is that John can only take one senator at a time here. So as long as now he's gone with his big guns and grabbed sen his senators, like I don't know what's stopping Pat from walking up with like Bill 
here and grabbing the senator that's close to Toad, and then Toad is is like, he what is Toad doing this round? He's not doing as much as uh, as you'd want him to. Uh, and then, so I guess like my thinking is maybe you, you should have went with Toad. Uh, you should. I think Toad was in the wrong spot. Is basically it. He should have been. Maybe he should have been in the middle, wh- where Blob was, so that he could have grabbed the second senator, so that mm-hmm. Juggernaut or Hulk could have been without a senator, so that when they inevitably go to punish the Wakanda team, they can pick up those. Now, if the if Juggernaut or Hulk uh, punish the Wakanda team, they can't pick up the uh, the extract. And I think that. Like, well, let's see if that is impactful in the game overall. But uh, I need, I think that we need to see Juggernaut do something here um, other than, like, flaw, fall back. I think maybe he should push forward into the opponent's scoundrel. Um, that Like, just to put the secure pressure on because I'm seeing... I think the... he's looking at, do you know who I am right now? Oh, okay. Yeah, he is. That would be an interesting one. Uh, Okoye is probably, you know, the easiest target he's going to get with a senator because, like you're saying, Bill is probably going to pick up that other one. So, dacing Okoye with Mystique, perhaps? Yeah. I think, uh, yeah. I, uh, I agree. I think that's... Now this means he can't slide, but... Yeah. Right, well, he's definitely... I mean, he's got other options. Okay, so he's he's like it's like the it's the uh it's like deception but uh different I guess. Okay, uh yeah, the Yeah, there it goes. I would have liked to see the secure pressure here, but um uh, but I uh also don't play these teams, so I if I'm just I think they're making I think they're making good decisions still. So I'm uh now yeah, this put this means that Okoye can get hit by mystique and take the piece i think did you just say that i think you might have um, yeah because yeah. i'm looking at who is going to kill her toad can probably put in two four die attacks that doesn't seem great blobs in martial artist range but again it seems fine and she does hit the light post that's good that's one less you know yeah uh damage they gotta get through I uh, I like Blob going to the middle because like he wants to be in the middle, just like doing that <laughs> explosive uh, yeah, spender sure. and uh, and displacing and everybody as he's doing that and just jumping around doing that. And Mystique is in a it is in a great spot here. She's gonna have up to four attacks into Okoye, uh, and uh, that should like I think mathematically that should be enough into her. Uh, yeah, so, it should be right. Yeah, so I think uh, let's see if Pat goes and grabs uh, the... I think he's going to have to grab uh, another senator here. And just to make sure he's on extract parity. Yeah, because otherwise Toad's just going to get it. But I think he's... Yeah, he is measuring off a bill. I thought he was measuring off a miles, but it's probably just a misclick. Yeah. So he's looking to pick up that senator and displace Hulk, throw him, throw him as far away from the game as possible, which is... Uh, I like that. It, uh, it makes Hulk's round two activation not uh, not Way be worse. that great, right? Yeah, he's now gonna have to he's gonna have to move and jump, and so he's like staggering him, right? He's uh, he's gonna have to move and jump, and then he'll be at zero power, and he'll have to attack Bill if Bill is even still there. Throw him into Toad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think the angle is quite there, but I think distance is probably better. Yeah. I cause I mean Although, Toad's gonna brace. Toad's just yeah, gonna brace. Yeah, he could brace, but that kind of sucks for him too, right? Mm, yeah, because well, the thing is, is that Toad has no uh, has nothing to pick up anymore. So it's like I guess. Uh, I suppose he doesn't mm, mind then. Yeah. Maybe I guess like the throws. What are the throws? I guess you have a lot of Wakanda throws. So losing brace that early would be uh, would be significant. So yeah, I I think that it was it seemed reasonable. I, I wouldn't have complained. I wouldn't have like. Um, thought it was yeah. a, a mistake if, if build... he threw into Toad, but yeah. yeah, I think the van was just in the way. Otherwise, that would have been that would have been nice. Okay, it looks like he's oh, he can't get he can't get both here. You're too small for base. No, he wouldn't yeah. be able to do both. Yeah. So, um, you just got to take Akoyes. I think that's what you uh, 
want to do here. That's what but, I would have thought. You, um, he is measuring it. So I think Toad has to grab this one, right? You can't, you have to pick up all the extracts before you work on anything else, basically, right? Uh, because extracts are much more, here we go. He's got the, he's got the line that makes the most sense. Um, yeah, you can run away with, you can run away with extracts. I say that be, like with quotes, because of course, senators let you only take a single Oh, you can action. hit between both. That's what you meant to say. Uh, you can, uh, he's saying, you can fit between both on a scoundrel and a senator. Even with a small base? With a small base? Wow, okay. I didn't know that. I guess I should play senators more. Yeah, Mike's saying in the chat, saying, like, the, the, because the points are so fast this game, like, your margin of error is so much smaller than it is on games that last longer. And that's, yeah, that's a drop. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. You can drop the token after pickup, too, as well. So. Ooh, yeah, that Mystique token we were talking about. Yeah, so I guess, like, yeah, that's. All right, well, that's good. He showed on his YouTube. Who, show, who showed what on their YouTube? Uh, let's see here. Schmidt. Oh, Schmidt on his YouTube. Man, oh, oh you, look at that. I I haven't watched all of his videos. I've watched most of them. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so now this is very interesting because the Wakandans are setting up to win three secures right now and three extracts, putting them at six points. Um... Let's see what uh, Blob's... I mean, Blob's last activation here has to be a double walk to the middle to stop that from being scored. But the problem is... I don't know, like, uh, six characters wide with Pat here is going to pay off on the round one, it looks like. Looks like Pat's just measuring a bunch of things, trying to figure out uh, what the next best move is. Uh, looks like he's decided to go with Shuri top point. Yep. The uh, the you want to be shooting the blob from outside of range three here because uh, he uh, if he's in three, you can he gets to push you back if you attack him. With his very cool... He's like such a very cool character here. If this character would suffer damage... Oh, hold on. Uh, yeah, if the attacking character is within three of this character, you can push them away. So, like... Uh, and he cannot be pushed or thrown as the result of attack special rules. So that means that Shuri can't push the blob at all. And if she's within three, he can push her away. <laughs> it's pretty, like, I'm just, like, picturing that, like, <laughs> in, like, uh, just being a weird, um, yeah, picturing that in, like, the movie or something. <laughs> that just being funny. Yeah, that is a weird one. Uh, and it looks like he's sending Blob that way. Okay, so he's, uh, so it looks like the plan overall is to concede the middle, because you're probably losing it anyway with Pat double moving Miles there. And so you might as well win the back two secures, and you're really hoping for the extract swap between Mystique and Okoye. And that way you put yourself in a six to five winning position here. So, uh, and you have four extracts to Pat's two, which would be pretty, like, that's that would be a pretty good spot, I think. Especially since, uh, yeah, two of them are on your tanky characters, so... Let's see what uh, let's see how Pat responds here. But yeah, I'm imagining this all comes down this this turn. Who's winning round one comes down to Mystique, dazing Akoye or Versus not? Akoye, yeah. Uh, Storm just caps a point here, right? I can't see anything better to do, especially if you're holding Miles to last. Yeah. Yeah, I th you're definitely throwing uh, an attack into Juggernaut here to if you put the shock on him. That just uh, it's fun, and also he's he has no defensive tech right now. Um, but I don't know, like, I don't know, yeah. and he's gonna, like, Juggernaut can do whatever he wants every turn anyway, pretty much. The only difference is, does he do the spender or does he do the builder, right? It's like a two dice difference. And so, oh, look, he's, look, he's opting to double move, he's not attacking Juggernaut. It looks like he's maybe setting up to zap Toad next turn. Yeah. 
Okay. Let's see here. So, yeah, let's uh, let's see how this rolls out. Okay, ooh, Deception is available to pull that character off the points. And then attack Storm, but she's not holding anything, man. I think, uh, what do you think? Do you think that the, yeah, here I, we go. Yeah, I think I would have gone for Okoye. Well, maybe you, he's just considering all his options. So like you can do, uh, you can do, like, if you get Okoye here, you can do both of those things, which would be even more, uh, which would be. That would be the best. Oh, look at that. He Case whiffs. Scenario. They, they, uh, John was first attack. So now you have to decide if you're going to do the storm play or risk the Akoya play. Storm's play, deception here, is like a is the problem is that neither is guaranteed. Because if Storm gets displaced no, because here because if he moves Storm, he just puts Miles there. Yeah, exactly. Yep. So neither is guaranteed and, and actually I'd go for Akoya here because because of the fact that uh, Pat has a direct counterplay to the deception. Uh so I I'd, I'd I'd go into Akoya again. You have priority, so you can you can just daze her. You can go her. for, yeah, round two. Mike has put that up there. Yeah. Yeah, he's going Ooh, for it. Oh, wow. Look at that. He made it. Okay, better. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, right, no. Yeah. Akoye. No damage. That is insane. <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, that's um, a good break for Pat. I'm sure he's uh, He's very happy with that. So now Miles can do whatever he wants because Pat's six points are locked in. And John is in a spot where he's got his five points. So this is a, this is still anybody's game, right? That was, that was only going to be a one-point swing. Uh, he's setting up, looking to set up a Venom Blast for next turn on Juggernaut. Which, yeah, that that's a great play as oh, your like opener that. or you or jug to go first which is probably not where you want him to be yeah that's very cool i th i dig that um i mean the other you have a few options right you have uh okay yeah you could you could be risky oh i was just gonna say you could go for a web swing yeah, here you could be risky and go for a web swing yeah, yeah. It looks like what he's doing I mean, oh, like you said earlier, Jugs doesn't have his defensive tech on right now. Right, but maybe he double walks to where Toad is and, and stops the VP, putting him at 6-4. Oh, I think Ooh. he... Oh, man, he might just do that. Yeah, there it yeah. goes. Oh, I like, I like it. I like it. Uh, yeah, you just... Um, Miles is tanky, right? So Mystique's attacks, like, he probably oh, feels pretty Oh, and he can get safe. out of deception range, too, looks like. Oh, man. All right. That's, uh, yeah, there we go. Six to four. I think that was a very smart play by Pat here. Now, the two point, let's see if the two point difference here that he's getting uh, is uh, is going to be impactful towards the end of the game. All right. That's uh, round one done. That's a lot of a lot of uh, setup for this for this round. There's there requires a lot of, um, a lot of correct decisions to get to a spot where you're winning on this on this scenario. I think Pat only, my guess is that Pat only went for that because he had the lead. If it was tied, I don't know what, I guess it's it's hard to say. It's, it's hard to say what he would have done. He probably would have set up Miles for the Venom Blast like you're, you were suggesting. I mean, that, that play kind of helps you more this round, but getting a lead psychologically can be huge. Yeah, especially when you're especially playing when against we were... the, this team. Yeah, because we were talking about how strong their opener was. And both teams have very strong openers. But uh, it looks like the Wakandans have uh, got away with it a little bit. I think Akoye should die. And then we're looking at, well, probably the reverse of this scenario. Yeah. Okay, Juggernaut's doing a move. And he's going to probably slide into Akoya here. Looks like that's what he's setting up. And then he's going to uh, attack her and probably set up the, the crisis token to be uh, in 
uh, within pickup range of Mystique. This is this makes sense because Miles can't grab it without being stuck off of the secure. Oh man, he uh, he missed. He missed his slide. Yeah, yeah, he did. Uh, maybe. Hold on, they're checking. It's close. I think he's. Oh. No, he he beeps. Oh, they've, they've no, he, he got her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was close. It yeah, was it's very close. Tight though. looking angle. <laughs> yeah, it was very tight. But yeah. Okay. Sure. If I like this though, I feel like Ooh, Miles man. needs one more power to be able to swing and move back. So Juggernaut just uh, didn't kill her. Uh, wow. At oh. A push. Gee. Uh, I'm not sure. I take the push here. I think, uh, yeah, there's, uh, because now she's just further away from Mystique. Uh, I suppose Blob can kill her. Yeah. Range to attack though. Martial artist. I did. I do like Mystique being the one to get her. Um, yeah, but, uh, yeah, that's, uh, it's tricky. It's very tricky, man. You're rolling eight dice into, into a two threat. You're really, uh, I mean, these are the types of roles where you're like, "All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bank my round on on this activation kind of thing." Like, I'm I'm relying on this activation to carry me through to the next step yeah. of the game. And uh, man, when they when they don't when they the characters left on one here, oh man, yeah, it's... yeah, I I still don't like that activation. I think you want to keep Juggernaut to later till someone has activated, so you can push them off a point. I think Mystique into Okoye is perfectly good. Um. Yeah, I, I don't love it. And now Koye just runs back into mission objective range of someone, right? Yeah, exactly. She only has one move action here, but uh, that's true. Um, but it's going to be look. She's looking to just throw something at Toad, see if it sticks. But yeah, the the mission, like you mentioned, like getting the mission objective range, so that she can pass the senator to Bill. Oh, Bill's has Bill has one and. Panther has one, so so she's so still not in range to mission objective yet, but she's getting into a spot where she's closer. <laughs> All right, and uh, we've got looks like one damage going through, two damage. No, going Toad through. has the cover, so he's okay. Oh, now you're pushing damage. Nice. Okay, so looks like yeah, it looks like three into one block because of cover, so that'll be two damage into Toad. Yeah, so she doesn't have mission objective online. She's still vulnerable. She's on, in cover now with the car against ranged attacks. So I think that's uh, but <laughs> one health. I don't know. It's uh, all you have to do is get yeah. stormed into the middle, and then boom, you're all of a sudden in, in a spot where you're or something like that. Uh, let's see. What would Pat do here? I'd be tempted by a pass. Would you? Uh, so Pat has more activation, so he's ha he has to do something. Oh no, sorry, oh, you're talking sorry. about you're so oh, no. no, no, that's my job. That's my bad. You are right that uh, that uh, it's John's turn. I <laughs> mixed up the turns. Okay, so John, what would John do here? John probably passes. Uh, hmm. Maybe you move Toad away, although he can only move once. Um... Well, you don't want to give Miles more power, but at the same time, you can't really stand there. It's tricky. It's tricky. You might have to. You might have to pull Toad to back. You might have to to pull Toad back out of the off of the secure. That's I don't know. Like, cannot, you're gonna no. He gone. can't get far enough, right? Because he can only move once, and Miles can web swing. Right. So, but you at least maybe you set up the mission objective on your side, as maybe my. That's thing. true. So. Um, yeah, this is tricky. Every uh, <laughs> the thing with what just happened is that uh, Pat's only character without displacement just went first. So every character that he has to go now can displace someone else. So, oh, look at this. We're doing a spender into, into uh, Miles here to put incinerate on him. And it's blocked. So... Well Maybe that's best case scenario because now he's incinerated and Toad can run away. Yeah. Looks like uh, put himself within range of your buddy of Mystique, so you can mission objective if, if if Miles. So it basically shuts down that threat of Miles venom blasting him. 
Patrick saying, I lost a game where a Koi just tanked forever. Yeah, I've, I've been there too, too. I played a Kingpin game against uh, Curtis's Hellfire, and his Okoy just like took all of the every single hit I could possibly put into that team. It was wild. All right. So we're doing another attack into Miles here. Uh, just the builder, four dice. And. Well, he got his wild. Yeah, it's going to push him. Looks like one damage through. Uh, Ooh, did uh, Miles do his rerolls yet? Yeah, no, here they come. Oh yeah, right. Yes, so he's he's paying. Oh yeah, right. He has the innate rerolls. Yes, of course. Yeah, look at spider sense. And he could pay for a Wakanda for a Wakanda reroll, but he's taking the damage, which is reasonable. Three power on Miles is gets you that spender. So now that's online. Yeah, I'd be happy to take one damage in this instance, to be honest. Yeah, because, okay, so now uh, you can spend her toad to make him drop his secure, or his extract, I mean. And But you can't pick you it can't up. Pick you don't, it up. Yeah, you don't have enough power to pick it up yet. Um, so, which is fine. Storm is there to pick it up, maybe, if that's an option. Like, that. there's basically, I don't know what Pat's going to do, but he's got options right now with uh, his characters, with uh, multiple characters here. Oh, just spent a power. I think he put down the token, or is putting down the token, and he's right. hopping away. Or is he just hopping? Uh, he spent. Oh, he just looks like he's just hopping because he went from yeah. two power to three when he did the one damage to Miles. Yeah. So. Okay. So yeah. So he's prote He's probably protected from losing that extract this round, but he's also had to basically give up the secure to do that <laughs> he's oh man bill's like the thing is that uh if bill takes any damage this round he'll have enough power for the throw or if he deals any damage he'll have enough power for a throw displacing hulk again so i think like uh it's like the bill is like a bait for blob right because blob probably has range two on on bill no he or kept is, is bill or he kept just outside of two. Okay. So Blob is also kind of a no man's land. They're both as well. they're both kind of yeah. Interesting. But Bill's able to like uh he's like he's able to hold off this uh this blob and hulk section of the board like all by himself, right? He's able to just like hold the line yeah. against these two characters. Storm stopping the deception can maybe throw Toad back. Yeah, this is... If the measurements work out, this is a good play by Pat. Yeah, the shop was slightly in the way, but now the measurement is good. Oh, is it? Is he? Oh, oh he's she's just there. Okay. Well, I guess you just uh, you throw a an attack into her then. Yeah, that's yeah. You Range buff it? Uh, uh, yeah, like I, I'd buff is... it. Six yeah, dice in a toad. To. Yeah, he's only got three health left. Six dice. It's like it's, the math is it's like a forty percent something like that to get him. Forty five. I don't know somewhere in there. If, if I had to guess. Ooh. Oh, good block we, though. That's uh, that's need a one more. Uh, if you need one more block, big crit. Oh, he Ooh. got him! Oh my goodness! Ah, uh, wow. Five into two is three damage. That's exactly uh, that's exactly enough. Yeah. And he'll drop the piece. Does he play mission objective? Looks like he. It looks like he will. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the reason you would play it here is because Pat would get to choose where you drop the extract, and he'd put it in a spot where Mystique would have to move to get it, but would also be not on a point, therefore be stranded off of a secure. At least by playing the card here, Mystique can move on to a secure and be holding the extract. But well, it's... she can move on to where Storm is. That is... Yeah, yeah. That's She's... her choice now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. 
Oh, looks like she might die. Um, uh, pivot and shoot Bill? That's... I'm not sure I love that, but I suppose she is the best person to do damage to him. How much power does she have? She has three power. Expert sabotage. Ooh, that that would be nice. Ah, uh, yeah, it's three. It's range four. So man, ah oh, man, how much power? She, okay, no, she was stuck on three, so she wouldn't be able to pick that up. But but nobody is in range like Miles is. Well, she also just picked up a senator through mission objective as yeah. well. Yeah. Right? So the answer here is to is to blow that car up and and daze Akoya. You really need to get that daze, or else, oh man, if she gets to live another round. I, I don't know. What do you th what do you what does Chad think? Does Chad think we should they should yeah. blow up the car? <laughs> if they blow up the car, does Shuri just go get the point? Probably not, right? Yeah, I don't think so because Hulk would then just get her. Would be able to get her. I th I think. Yeah, and maybe you can place in a position where Blob can stay on the point. None of the other players on can pick it up unless Miles can go across the world, which I suppose he could do. Yeah. Well, it's still uh, John, or it's John's turn now after Storm Days Toad. So let's see. He could he could still pass, uh, but I'm liking the expert sabotage here just so that you at least get the attrition going. Yeah, but there's no pressure on that either. Um, Mystique can do that as long as she's within four of that car, and that's a very easy thing to just stay within. So you can just hold her till as long as you want. I think. Oh, oh yeah, right, you're right. Now. She's, oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, you're right. Oh, so hold on. Is he throwing the car? No, he can't. He can't. He doesn't have the power. Okay, my bad. Uh, what's happening here? Oh, he's blowing yeah, up the car. No, he is blowing up the car. I think. Oh. Hmm. Oh, it looks like he's going to try and shoot her. Don't do that. Saw how well that went the first time. Yeah, in cover now, too. Oh, man, that would be tough. Uh, but it's only one damage. It's like you think. But I it think, is... ah, man, the car is I'd guaranteed. I'd rather go for the short thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, he's shooting. Oh, no. Whoa, he's shooting her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, what are the benefits here? Like like you say, you probably should do the damage, but I mean, the, the benefits. Three power, I guess you get one power. Oh, look oh, at that. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, the benefit is the oh. power, but but Mystique doesn't spend power very well. I think, like, no, that's she like, doesn't. so. Yeah. The expert sabotage is, like, what you would spend power on if you're not playing tactic cards that cost power. Uh, which... Oh, rapid fire. We forgot about that. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. He got, he got her. It. Wow. Uh, yeah, barely. Oh, Wakanda reroll, maybe? No, no, because the no, cause his cover. Yeah, he's already got the cover, so yeah. <laughs> oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, wow, well, he got it. So that basically, I guess, like, the answer here is that he... Uh, he had he risked it, risked it, and it paid off uh, to some. Yeah, it paid off. I would say he's got um, the car for next. He got he's got the car for next round. So you could blow up the car with Mystique, and then you've now is it two damage or is it one? I believe it's, it's two damage. Two. So then you only have to do two damage to her, her to shoot her. Yeah. yeah. So um, saving it for her injured side is seems reasonable. Uh, yeah, so there we go. It, it paid off, and uh, and it'll probably maybe it'll pay off next round as well. Yeah, he's Patrick saying he's basically given up the bottom part of the map up for the round. Yeah, that that's uh, so that's an easy two points if Pat wants it here for Storm and Miles to just sit there, but he's um. <laughs> Ah, uh, you can't. You're stuck there, but you have you have mission objective like we've talked about. If oh no, you don't. You don't. <laughs> God. Oh man, it's just this is hard with so many so many extracts. It's like hard to hard to play mission objective, right? There's if all your characters are holding stuff in the middle of the board, uh, especially if you're 
Um, okay, let's see. The extract lead has switched, though. We've got John holding three to Pat's two right now. And that's why Pat's probably feeling pressure. in order to pick up that third one, either Shory or Miles has to give up an activation and be in uh, a bad spot. Yep. So if Pat had, holds two and wins three secures, he's, I mean, he's probably looking at winning four secures, I think. He could win four secures I, I pretty like, easily. Yeah, I think he's going to, I think he's going to end up getting 12 points this round. He's looking to shoot up. Looks like he's looking to just Children gain power. Are? He's just gaining power. He's yeah. not looking for displacement. Uh, I think if he would have been outside of, I would have liked to see maybe try to shoot up. Would shooting up lob be good here? Uh, maybe not. Okay. No, you're just giving him power. Nice. See you later, Patrick. Uh, okay. So, yeah, you're just feeding, getting the power. You get the skull, so you get the extra power. And, and yeah, that's it. Shooting up blob is tough because you're going to give him power for explosive. The, his spender, which is, which is phenomenal. Which is real good. Yeah. Displace your entire team at at the end of the round, basically, or like everyone who hasn't has activated are off the board, are off the secure, uh, which would be very strong. I'm sure we'll see it late, like next, like in uh, if it goes to round four, we'll see it. But he, he's gonna need it at some stage. Yeah, the problem is if he picks up this piece, he doesn't. Uh, I mean, he's in a spot where he cannot do it this round because he has to spend one action moving. At least. Oh, the Mystique Leadership. Uh, so we'll see it next round. I forgot that the Mystique Leadership is going to refund him this uh, this power. And therefore, he'll have three power next round. So he's going to do an attack oh, in the bell here. Oh, yeah, that leadership. Yeah. So it looked like he moved to be just into. Yeah, so he's hitting him now. So Look at that. He oh. blocks. He, uh, no damage, but maybe this is a good thing. Because it means he gets to push Bill without the aggressive trigger. Yeah, that's worked out very well for him. Good to see the dice coming back around for Maxi John, even if it is without the damage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, this is like the best, other than like like doing a significant punch through Bill's health. This is probably best case, right? You doing one damage here, or uh, one or two damage here onto Bill would have not been great this round because he it turns Bill's throw online. Yeah, exactly. So for our Europeans, what what's seventy five degrees Fahrenheit to give a rough indication? Uh, that's like that's pretty close to twenty degrees. Okay, so that is nice weather. It's yeah, yeah. I live on I live right on the border between the U.S. and Canada, and so like I often have to convert. People talk in both of these temperature uh, settings, so I have to. I, gener I generally know what they what they convert to. Good. They, uh, Miles just looking to cap a point. Yeah, that's fine. Shake incinerate here. Yeah. Like what? toes activation never happened. So Kahal, are you uh, going to WTC this year in October? Uh, I am. Yeah, I'm very much looking forward to it. That's very cool. I'll uh, I'll get to see you there. Excellent. You're playing for one of the U.S. teams I heard last night. <laughs> yeah, that, that's right. It all. Uh, that's right. I think that we've got uh, a lot of good Canadian players, um, and uh, so I think that uh, I, I would. Uh, it's going to be pretty interesting if I have to get if I get paired. Uh, if my team. That's oh, if you US get paired into Canada, 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 yeah, they're gonna they're be... gonna they're gonna send their they're gonna send a killer after me. Maybe as. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's that'd be that'd be a lot of fun. Uh, the little the little rivalry situation that's being set up, and uh, <laughs> yeah, but it's gonna be really great. I'm very excited. I uh, um, I have I've only talked. I mean, I don't talk to very many people in Europe. Only like a, a handful, and so it'll be really cool to meet a bunch of new people uh, that play this game. So I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, that is the best thing about going to 
the WTC, just meeting everyone that you either know from watching videos like this or listening to podcasts, and then even meeting the people that you don't know about, and just seeing uh, which teams are actually strong. Because, you know, a lot of people talk a big game, but then Austria come out of nowhere and come second. And Sweden, I mean, to a lesser degree, a lot of people knew the Swedes were very good, but it's still them winning was uh, not what I would have predicted. So it's really cool to see stuff like that happen. <clears throat> yeah, no, it is. Uh, it is really, it is really cool. They, uh, um, and I was talking to Huggy Bear on a previous stream, and it looks like they're gonna bring the that team back to defend their uh, the defend the championship. So that's that's really cool. They'll be having a lot of uh, targets. Uh, they'll be have a big target on their back. That that's all part of the game. Nice. Okay, looks like are we getting a. Um, He's spending for Summon the Storm. Six dice energy with a wild shock on it. Into jugs. Um, he doesn't really have anything better to do with Bill. Uh, presumably at some stage someone will attack him and I'll get the third power. But yeah. for the moment, this seems like a good play. That's and a the big dice chunk. have rewarded him. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a, he's chunked him for sure here. <clears throat> he got a reroll with Wakanda to put even more pressure on. That's five damage coming through Jugs, assuming he pays for the reduction. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's really big. And shot. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Pat is locking in his three secures in the bottom here, with uh, with two extracts. Going to five. He's I mean, got Panther. It's probably going to be the. It's probably going to be four, right? Panther can just top that. Oh, but here goes Hulk. Yeah. Seeing if he can make that. I don't think he can make it. I don't know. It's it's you have basically you're With, spending your whole activation. One move? You're yeah. Sp yeah. You, oh yeah, right. You only have one move too. Yeah, that's. I think you're. Um, yeah, the bill rotating here it means that Hulk gets a terrible activation. That's what Pat, I think. That's Pat, probably what Pat was thinking when he was lining up uh when he was positioning bill is that who hulk has no one really to go after i mean he can yeah he's spending all of his power to get that leap that, that yeah bill. he's not gonna make that yep that bill throw is paying off this is why you needed hulk to get in the center of the table i think right like back on round one when he had the option to jump towards the back scoundrel or the middle of the board where panther was i think that's uh yeah you really if you because were if you got thrown here you had you had many more options if you got thrown from where bill is standing now or, or around there yeah and he could have backstopped himself with the car so like he had options. So Shuri is Shuri's probably gonna get hit here. I'd imagine he's gonna leap and attack into Shuri. Uh, is that spot? You should have enough space. Oh man, you know I now think... now they say this like I don't. Is that would statue... you just get Bill? Yeah, you can, you can get somebody, but like, yeah. is this statue and is this is this car? Are they range outside of range two of each other? It's like it's very tight. They, it, ooh, ooh. I think I think they're you, barely. Yeah, you might be right. They they must be barely outside of two, but uh, yeah, it looks like they are. But it's still it is a very tight spot in the middle of the board, so it's very interesting that Hulk is uh, Hulk. But Hulk is getting what he wants here, which is at least one attack into Shuri, uh, and. Let's see I how think that I'd go into Bill while he doesn't have defensive tech. Uh, yeah, all right. Yeah, Shuri only has the rear. Oh man, look at that roll on Pat's defense. He's just he's blocking a e. lot of this damage that uh, John's throwing out there. Oh, yeah. four blocks on e. Shuri. Oh my goodness. He doesn't even need the cover. Good God. I <laughs> know. Yeah, that's um. That's, uh, I don't think you're getting that push, man. Yeah, no, it's uh, you're gonna bump right into Panther here, probably. <clears throat> oh, maybe not. Let's see. Oh, look Ooh. at that. Oh, it looks good. Yeah. The eye of the needle there. I appreciate the players. Yeah, look at that. I appreciate the players going slowly, especially I like how uh, they dropped the character in the one spot where they thought if there was a collision that's where it would be just to just to make mm -hmm. sure uh especially when you're playing this game where the the it's like a tightrope situation you want to make sure both players are happy with uh 
the 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 line the throw and if it making sure it didn't hit anything. So look at Absolutely. that. Pat scores his four his secures and two v and two extracts, and we've got four extracts for John and one secure. So puts a Pat on a twelve to nine is what I think I'm seeing here. Twelve to nine, yeah. Uh, Maxi John has a good turn. Otherwise, I think it's going to be a round three finish for Pat. Yeah. Hopefully, Brotherhood can pull it back. Kaho, if uh, if people want to hear more of your voice, uh, what, uh, where could they do that? Uh, they can do that mostly on Spotify or the Across the Bifrost Nexus on the Rapid Fire podcast that I do with uh, Angus from the London B team. Very cool. Uh, what uh, what um, yeah, right. prompted you for uh, for starting that up? Because I know it's like you're like eight episodes in now or something like that. Um. Yeah, it's always a bit weird because I'm a little bit ahead. I think, is it eight or nine? Um, we just released uh, an episode released on eight, Angus's. Yeah, Angus has got an episode out on uh, his Cabal team. He was building a teams list and he was using a lot of the uh, Cabal characters that don't often get a lot of use because... Uh, during team building process, everyone was just taking stuff from him <laughs> and he was o okay with it. So it was an interesting episode uh, and we're going to have the event that happened. Uh, so the Secret Wars team event in London happened, I think, last weekend or maybe two weekends ago. Uh, they won. So spoilers, sorry. Uh, and we'll be talking about their route to victory uh, in an episode that I'm currently editing. So it should be out uh, in a couple of weeks. Oh, very cool. That's awesome. Yeah, team events are the most fun to talk about. Yeah, I, uh, I, they're they're very fun to play, and I, uh, um, <laughs> it's just like, uh, of course, when you do well, everyone is like so happy. But like, um, it's uh, it's just the experience itself. The shared experience is what makes it uh, is very fun. Yeah, absolutely. It's the fact that you know, win or loss, you will be with other people that are experiencing the same thing. Yeah, Mike's uh, complimenting your uh, your your, uh, your perspective. You have a different meta over there, and different. Uh, um, he likes that, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I I've listened to most of the episodes, and it's fun. I like I really I listened to the the Weekender one, the Mutant Weekender one that you guys did, and uh, it was uh, uh, you I, the you had. It was funny hearing you t retell the story of how you got uh, you got paired up or you got put into the higher bracket than you thought you'd be in because of a drop or something. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, yeah. So it was very it was a very enjoyable listen. Yeah, it was that was a lot of fun. Um, and it's yeah, that's the kind of bracket I was like that was my expectation for the weekend unless things got very lucky. So it was both a good thing and a bad thing <laughs> on the Sunday morning realizing okay, I'm not going to have the easy day I thought I would have. No disrespect to the guys that ended up in the the shield bracket, but like, um, it's just what I thought it would be more like. And then, yeah, but I had some really cool games. Yeah, it's and oh, a bunch it's, of the other Irish guys ended up there too, so it was fun to play them. Yeah, it's always interesting because like, um, you're uh, you everyone you have a, everyone has a perceived level of skill of everyone else right of course uh, everyone thinks like oh they they uh compare everyone to how good they think they are versus how they how yeah. they perceive themselves to be in terms of the skill levels and the rosters they've brought and so it's like when you're playing in an event you're like oh man i really don't want to go against this good player because i might lose but then also at the end of the day if you like if you are like the worst uh, of the like let's say you go three and three or four and two or something, and you're like the bottom of the four and twos. You're like, oh man, I wish I had my shot against these players that have better records at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah, uh, but I was scared. But way. I was scared of. I was yeah. like worried I would get paired into them before the game. Uh, and so yeah, there's no. And it's there's kind of this weird balance of ego as well, right? Because you're like, I think that I am a better player than this person. There go, therefore, I should win this game. Um, and that kind of helps your confidence, but it can also go too far the other way. Yeah, and then yeah. you go into someone that you perceive as better, and like in your head you have to assume an underdog role, and yeah, the, the psychology of it is uh, very interesting. Yeah, I, I like how Maxi John is taking his time here because uh, he must realize that this is important, right? He, this round has to go right for him. Yes, 
it's uh, you've got the clock, you've got lots of time. The, this is the, probably the last round. So yeah, I agree. The fact that oh, he's used here's more time. Oh, the expert sabotage. Yeah. So he's gonna push two damage through onto a Koye, and then looks I'm like Bill. Does Bill reduce? Um, he can't reduce, right? It's Mystique. Oh, it's Mystique, of course. Yeah, so he's Love taking to see two it. here. Oh, he's typing a Max. Uh, John's typing in the chat, so let's see if oh, maybe that was a mistake. Okay, looks like they're uh, all right. They're rolling here. Let's see if he can KO a Koye this time. Two successes, but he's got a rapid fire. And oh my goodness! <laughs> oh Jesus, the Koye, which is just up. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That's uh, that's some good defense roll right there. All right, let's see if he can yep. push this through. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Okay, good attack. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. My God. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, man. That's my goodness. That's... Uh, that's... that's... I mean, Okoye okay, has just been Mystique's bane this game. I know, holy moly! Even without the without the cover and not even needing rerolls here, which is kind of crazy. But um, yeah, that's um, that's pretty funny. Uh, man, that's tough. Like, yeah. Basically, um, it's it's funny from an outside perspective. I bet John is probably maybe like uh, trying his best to deal with the deal with the outcomes here uh, and not tilt. Of course, like you. You want to just stay calm and, and know that like uh, you just have to keep playing to your outs basically when you when you're up against really strong dice. Uh, but it's uh, it's yeah it's very it's mentally t mentally it's hard it's hard to deal with when you're when you feel if like the Koye other players are rolling better. Joker not now. Uh, It'll yeah. be real hard to see a way back. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's a, it's, a tough spot. it's a very tough spot to be in when you feel like you're getting, uh, the dice are just not doing what you expect them to do. Three and she a nothing. Wow, she gets him. Oh my goodness. Oof. Oh my goodness. That's, uh, that's just... <laughs> that's, uh, uh, yeah, that's rough. That that's is, rough. that's kind of crazy. Um, how... <laughs> This is the see. I can. I, I'm reacting by laughing. Uh, if you play against me and my dice aren't going the way uh, I expect them to go, uh, this is the, this is like the reaction that I have. I'm I'm usually laughing at how how uh, poorly my plan has come together. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it looks like John is uh, is uh, uh, he's up against a wall here. The toe? Yeah. Oh, dude, he rolled three for three. Again. Oh my god! <laughs> he just what rolled is, three for three three times in a do? row. He Jeez. just rolled four blocks on a koi. I mean, oh my goodness, dude! I don't know what to say. He's gonna do it again, I right? Mean, you just have to hit her again, right? Yeah, There's yeah. Nothing else Toad can really do at this point. Three. Okay, so hold on. So she's okay. dying, but unless she gets her rerolls, which she can. She's got two of them: one innate and one I mean, Wakanda. She's got the innate Shuri reroll. Re Shuri reroll coming up. We run both on Shuri right away. That's that makes sense. So you've got because now you've got, um, like all these attempts. You're probably blocking this. There we go. Now we've got innate reroll. Yeah. So this. So is she's be... already survived this. Yeah. All right, and now you've got your Wakanda reroll. You'll pay for. There it goes. Look at that. So she's had a reroll two, reroll one, reroll one. Yeah. And there's the triple block. And uh, right. there's the block. Yep. All right. Um. Yeah. Koi is. Uh, Damn, holding her ground for sure. That's a very tanky two threat. Um, wow. I don't uh I don't know if there's an out here now. Cause he's only got Hulk and Bob Blob. Um Yeah. I think that's uh that's probably I mean like the game was already in Pat's favor and then everything just went I think, Pat's yeah, way. I think it's um yeah everything went perfectly like for he Pat wins for this with miles uh storm and panther right yeah Those he just needs one secure here just have enough points yeah. yeah yeah he just needs a single secure here to win the game assuming he doesn't lose anybody but uh um yeah so let's see here uh, i guess is the out here one like one shotting bill and then like one shotting panther I, I don't know, like it's yeah? something, something like that. Okay. 
Oh yeah, right. My bad. Uh, my bad. It's Pat's turn because Toad just went. So, so it's uh. Yeah. So what do you do? Um, Miles Venom blasting. Is that what we're looking at? No, he can't get in range. I think you just go with Storm and uh, kill Toad for spite. Yeah, yeah. Just throw. I mean, it's effectively a pass, but that's kind of what you do. She doesn't need to kill Toad, but if she's there, she may as well make attacks. Yeah, and you've got the power to, like, uh, there's, like, it, I guess Toad's, you've got one shot into Toad, I guess. So, because he's just going to slippery away. But, I mean, like, it doesn't I know, it doesn't really matter, does it? I don't know if it does. There's no, there's no way to get Mystique, yeah. I think you basically no. pass by putting damage into Toad. Alternatively, do you go with Bill and just throw? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. That's that's probably better. I like that. Um, he's gonna. Yeah, because it takes away his out, right? Looks like he's gonna attack into him anyway, since he has no other viable targets. Um. So, and if he did his summon the storm ability, he wouldn't be able to throw Hulk. So he's just doth doing this to. Yep. Gain power on Bill, I think. Really. Uh did he? Looks like it's blocked though. So. Um, yeah, that just is the story of the game, I guess. Pat's defense dice have been well, that was uh, that was really Bill attacking good. Hulk. Um, so Bill's probably just gonna attack Hulk again and uh, just maybe or just or just throw him and, and move. You could throw and then move, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Okay. No, you just attack him again because he's on the point, right? That's fine. Oh, no, look, he's throwing, he's throwing. <laughs> um, I think you just maybe maybe you can put yourself on the scoundrel in a spot where you're outside of two when Hulk does him in advance, so he has to leap towards Bill if he wanted to attack him. Like Yeah, that could work. Okay, so we have embrace. So basically you just don't want to be yeah. That that was that was the best play now that I see it, because the the out that John had was the was the one shotting both of these characters, and you've now taken that away from him. So, in fact, the one shot doesn't even work, right? Because his mission objective to Shuri. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. Okay, so yes, he looks like he's set up built to not be displaced uh, very far if it if it does happen. Uh, he's also what's the blob? I guess the blob is going to do a spender. And oh no, don't do that now. You'd pass surely, right? Yeah, you. I think that's you would. Late, but... you would. Probably. Um, yes. Okay. So, yeah, we're doing a spender here. All of his power. He's going to get a range one place off of Bill, I think it's before. Is it it's before it? Yeah, no, he's a bodyguarding into Koye. Uh, oh my! You know, I mean, you... she survived everything else. You know what this also does? This also puts um, if he because he I think he places before damage. Let me see the card, and yes, and also Bill is in a spot where um, he, can't he can't get on away. the point. He can't get on the point. I don't know. He might not be able to get on the point with that range one place. It's it's close. But I think Bill might be like in Ooh, this awkward I don't think spot. he will. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, so it's like, oh man. Uh, yeah. And the Koye is blocking enough to live. <laughs> oh god. Uh, and no wild trigger for John, so no explosive force. Oh. Oops. Yeah, look at that. You're not... Uh... Nowhere near it. Oh, John. Yeah, no, that's, uh, I think, hmm, it's, it's close, but the, maybe that, that extra movement towards Bill, like, maybe there was a spot there. Okay. So, yeah, Koi living, too. Um, that's tough. So, there's, I don't, I don't know if there's any more outs. I think, uh, this is no, just clean I, up, I this is clean up now.
All right, he looks like he's just throwing into Blob because he's got an extract. Toad's not doing anything, whereas yeah. Blob is holding a VP. And his defenses are weaker, right? Yeah, no cover either. And he's is he outside of three, I guess, is the only question, because she could get pushed by him. Um, oh, that's true. I uh, mean, oh, no, I he, has he doesn't no power. care that he has, much. He has no power, so he can't oh, use no that power, ability. Of course, yeah. yeah. So, oh, yay, okay. <laughs> no damage, or one damage. One damage is fine, yeah, that's... So now... Oh, yeah, hold on. What's the... No, okay, two damage now. Okay, he paid for a reroll. So we got the shock on Blob and two damage through. So now, if you're in range three here, you don't attack Blob because you'll get displaced and you won't be on the point, right? So you need to just... Um... Yeah, he's checking Oh, look now. at that. Oh, perfect. Oh. You can, so you can attack him. There you go. Yep, zap him again. I mean, there's no, there's no reason not to. Yep, there we go. Two dice. He's got damage reduction now because he has to spend power for it. And it uh, looks like he's going to punch some throw. Uh, don't have to kill him unless he rerolls. Which he will. Yep, Storm paid for the reroll. Four, so <laughs> yeah, he'll uh, get him. No, so he can pay. He can still pay to reduce. Um, yeah, he can. So he's doing a Shuri reroll to kill him. There now, now he's gone. <laughs> oh goodness! Now he's dead. Yeah, and now Shuri can shoot Toad to gain the power needed to pick up the senator. It like uh, or Miles could just grab it, right? So it, it's yeah. Um, yeah, plenty Pat, of options. Yeah, Pat looking at scoring for uh, six more points this round. Seven more points probably. Um, yeah. Maybe like. maybe an eighth point in the middle. Three's gonna or I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm. He's gonna score four extracts. It looks like plus, um, potentially four secures. He will score enough. Let's put it that yeah. way. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. All right. <laughs> I think this, this is yep. revenge. I think this is like. Can you imagine if he doesn't get this? Oh my lord. Oh man! All right, there's four. Oh, cool. oh yeah, look at a Koi three blocks with two crits in there. Um, and they don't. Oh, okay, but five. She's still dead, so she will oh, okay, die. okay. All right, she that was close though. That was three blocks it with was... two crits coming. Yep. <laughs> okay, so no, no longer getting the max like the twenty point VP uh, game. It's this is a uh, this is nineteen yeah. points. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, Koi, man, living through, uh, oh. basically, uh, hold on, um, that's, uh, that's 15 threat worth of attacks it took to take her from, in, from, to KO her, <laughs> 15 threat, because Juggernaut, and, and on her way down, a Koi took down a 5 threat, so, <laughs> that's, yeah. uh, that's a 2 she threat character, made her points back. that's insane, that was insane value for a Koi, this, uh, this game, yep, Okay, so now he's going for a one shot on Bill here. I think just uh, see if he can get that. Yep. And Bill blocks like uh, really decently, so looks like he's taking at at most one damage. Uh, I think that was the last block from Okoye. Oh, okay, you're right. You're right. Oh well, Although there you go. He That's just does as good. Continue to block. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think he's taking no damage there if he it pays is. for it because no, he's no, got he doesn't cover. even have yeah. to pay for it. Yeah, he's just had some. Um... I would be salty at this point. Um, looks <laughs> yeah, like they missed tough. the cover because he's paid the one. Maybe he's taken it on. Mm -hmm. I guess the, uh, yeah. Uh, or maybe he's paying for the throw preemptively. No, he, uh, he, no, look, yeah, he paid, I see you're saying. He paid, he paid for the throw. He threw into Shuri. Oh, no, he, they've just missed the cover. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, it doesn't make a huge uh, difference at this no. point. Yeah. Okay, so Shuri rolled for that and looks like she took three damage. She missed it all. And uh and looks like we're just gonna go with Shuri to pick up and move. Yeah, and then Miles will rotate probably it to the other secure. 
Other uh, so, corner. Yeah, yeah. So now we're looking at uh, we're looking at five secures and three extracts. Um, so he will get his twenty. He will get his twenty. Yeah, you're right. And yeah, yeah. Um, I was watching you and Vodka Blitz last night, and it's it's kind of funny how you were saying I just need to get to sixty, and Pat's like, No, I'm just going to take <laughs> all the points I get. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I uh, there's no wrong answer here, right? I guess like the only time it would oh, look. Oh, he's gonna get twenty from this. The only time it would be a wrong answer would be is if like there was a tiebreaker involved, where like that at that point, and the and the VPs were a tiebreaker, or like the VP discrepancy was a tiebreaker. He look at Pat's yeah. going for the twenty one here. He's trying to get blackjack. <laughs> uh, all right. I don't think he can get there, though, but... No, I don't think he can let's either. Let's see. I mean, we'll find out. I was uh, wondering if he was thinking about Venom blasting off a Hulk just to be, you know, spiteful about it. <laughs> he could. Oh, he's, du he's double He's double moved already, though? Yeah, he's double moving, but he could have. Yeah, look at that. So Pat's looking to take uh, the, the VP lead in the bracket here is, what, uh, is what's happening. So... I don't know what he scored on his last games or whatever. I don't know where he's at on the current leaderboard. But, uh, <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, so, I, I mean, like, I guess, like, I, I like, oh, look at that. He's going to get oh. there. <laughs> he's going to get the 21. Oh, my goodness. All right. I mean, it makes sense to play out the entire game because, like, you never know, like, what if you're missing something and all that and it costs you. So, I totally uh, understand. They've... Once they put their scores in here, we're just going to jump in their game. Looks yeah, like... Yeah, I'll be you in there. Yeah. All right. Oh, it was good, Pat. I appreciate it, man. Hey guys, thank you. thank you for hey. thank you for letting us stream the game. Uh, that was when the mission came up. We knew that it was going to be. Uh, pretty intense and pretty quick and lots of uh, important decisions that uh, the like millimeters might have mattered kind of situation and so uh, what uh, Pat when you got uh, the senators here and you saw you were playing against mystique uh, what were your what were your thoughts were you uh, did you see this this team coming what were your thoughts going into the match um yeah I, I mean the mystique team on senators is a bit of a known quantity right and um, when Max John said he was picking 19 threat, I was like, fair enough. We're going to see Hulk, Juggernaut, Toad, Mystique, and then a three threat. Um, so I very much expected what I saw. And I think Wakanda can play the game. Um, it can go wider in a game where both teams are trying to score lots of points. That's really useful, right? And then when you add the extra power boost on top from Spirit, um, I think they can score faster than Brotherhood in most of the times I've played this matchup. Right, John. Were you? Um, what were your thoughts when you got senators here? Uh, were you? Uh, like, I in my mind, I'm if I'm playing Mystique, I'm thinking this is this is a uh, the best extract I could have gotten. But, like, what were your thoughts? I don't play Brotherhood, so I'm not sure. Uh, it is against anyone except Wakanda. I think uh, it. it uh, you know, they're a chance, absolutely. Brotherhood are, but I knew he was going to be wider than me, and uh, that power on such a quick game uh, made all the difference. Uh, I think we were only uh, we had two extracts differing in our secures and extracts. So Pat's a man of fine tastes, <laughs> picking those. Uh, but um, yeah, I couldn't go as wide. I was tickling the idea of not bringing Hulk and putting a couple of others in just to maybe keep up on the secures. But I stuck with what I knew, and uh, yeah. The uh, you uh, as the opening move. So uh, we see Black Panther took the middle. And, mm -hmm. uh, and you, I think there was like a, I think I saw the consideration for being deception being played immediately. And instead you opted to go with Hulk and, uh, and grab a, a, one of his senators, which seemed good. But like, what were your thoughts? Like, what were your, uh, considerations between like not playing deception there and, uh, and going with Hulk? It's the tempo. You want to be stealing those opponent senators. Uh, that's why we play Jugger and Hulk. Um, and if I go with Mystique first and use Deception, then the tempo kind of drops away. So it was sticking to the formula, sticking to that turn one play of uh, stealing those and trying to get a Deception off later. But um, being that wide and on Senators, 
when you are this wide on senators, it is compact and hard to get a deception off. So I used budget deception, which is do you know <laughs> who I am. And uh, but Okoye had different ideas this game. Yeah, Okoye was outrageous that... in this game. Her <laughs> dice were completely <laughs> ridiculous for the duration, right? And I think she's the big reason that I ended up being so far ahead is she absorbs so many activations. Yeah, let me at the top of three. Uh, I think the writing was on the wall, so I did make it a goal, a personal win. Just kill Pat's Okoye, and I can walk away with a smile. Yeah, it, and it was pretty close to not working out there either, right? <laughs> Pat had the, the triple block with the double crits. Uh, uh, yeah, that was um, uh, yeah, yeah, that was um, it was very fun to see. Uh, I mean, like from an outside perspective, I'm sure that it was hard to wa hard to play against when Okoye got like three triple blocks in a row or something. Um, but uh, yeah, that was uh, she ended up at the last round there tanking 15 thread and taking out five thread of her own <laughs> just this like solo your whole team uh which is which is pretty pretty wild but yeah this um the it was i think their series of micro decisions on round one might have uh like i don't know what you could have done differently there's lots of different small little things i think pat uh putting miles to contest and going six four was uh was a great play it put like how did that make you feel john when you went uh when mile when you were at a two point discrepancy after round one like where, where were you, where was your head at my plan was to be uh tied five five with a days de Coye, um but it didn't work out so it, it uh, that's what you want going into a wakanda is to not fall too far behind turn one um, and that was my out, I thought, was trying to get one of those extracts versus uh, six wide Wakanda. I didn't see myself keeping up on secures. That's something I'd have to make up later. Um, but look, that's how it goes. Uh, Pat, um, with the Okoye being deceptioned, and, or sorry, uh, being budget deceptioned, the... Mm. Uh, like we're, we're, like I guess like my thinking my math is telling me my gut instinct is telling me like she had a a forty percent chance to live against McCoy's McCoy uh, or Mystique's rapid fire double attack action. Like, are you uh where where were you thinking? How were you feeling when Akoy was um on round one when Akoy was out of position? Were you were you thinking she was about to go down? So, um yeah, I thought there was a good chance. Um. I thought, though, the problem that John has is every model that attacks Okoye is a model that's not doing anything relevant on the crisis. And this is a very fast race, right? So sure, he gets that back if he kills Okoye. He gets my extract. But, for example, Blob had to decide not to attack Okoye, right? And had to go and stand on a point. Um, and that really helped keep her alive. And my whole philosophy going through this game is... This Brotherhood team is good at scoring. It's not that good at damage, right? I mean, it's fine, but it's got no damage multipliers. It's got no leaderships. It's got no rerolls. Um, and I have my leadership. I have Shuri rerolls. I have cover from the crisis. I have a lot of things that help me live. And so I'm just not going to worry about his damage, right? I'm just going to score the points as best I can, get cheeky attacks when I can and hope they roll well, which they did. Um, and I accept that he's going to move my models out of position, but it doesn't matter. I've got six of them and they're quite tough. And like, for example, moving Black Panther to the middle at the start, I don't care at all if he gets deceptions, right? I don't think any model in his team can kill Black Panther. And Okoye is like the mini version of that. She has a <laughs> chance to die, but it's really not that bad. If you consider Mystique isn't guaranteed to rapid fire, right? On two actions, she probably gets on average one rapid fire attack. And if you consider I have two rerolls against that, even against Mystique, I've got the leadership and I've got my general reroll. It's like four, four attack dice versus five defense dice. I don't know what the odds are, but I thought her chance to live was okay. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. Cahal, do you have any questions for the players? Yeah, so uh, I put down some notes while we were going through. Uh, well done, both of you. It was an excellent game to watch. Uh, on round uh, zero uh, in squad construction, we had kind of um, put through your team, uh, Maxi John, and we were just the the last three slot was kind of the flex. So I'm gonna ask, why did you pick Blob as opposed to X23 or Zemo or Pyro even? Uh, I took longer than Pat to select my team because I had X23 there, uh, but. Uh, Pat's on it, this amazing streak with Wakanda, and I've had some great games with Blob into Wakanda. Um, 
the the mind games it plays with his belly rolls, whatever it's called, how he can push them away. It um, makes him a great piece against and kind of turns off your panther push and your shuri push, which is just incredibly helpful. Um, oh, yeah. My shuri was miserable, right? With two size four characters, a stealth character and blob. That, and then that, Toad, I do one damage to him and he hops away. I have literally no good targets in your whole team. That, that's the theory of going into Wakanda is not, don't give you any good targets. Um, and oh, I would love to, I've got OG Sabretooth in there, who's fantastic as well. Um, and that was the consideration, get rid of Hulk and put in Sabretooth as well. But in terms of Blob, um, sometimes he's the man and sometimes he's not as wild triggers work. Um, and today he did a bit of both. Um, I was happy with that. Yeah, no, he was a very interesting shout, and that makes a ton of sense that you explain it. Um, the other thing, Lucas kind of delved into this. When you uh, went with Hulk at the start for the tempo, uh, pulling him back um, as opposed to putting him in the middle, uh, on reflection, do you think that was an error when Bill was able to come and throw him, or do you think it was the, the safer play? Um, well, it crippled me. Yeah, on, in retrospect, putting him in the middle would have been a better idea because then he's, uh, well, he's not out in the middle of nowhere. He's somewhere around here instead and can actually have an impact on turn two. Um, but unfortunately, he just walked over and hit Shuri for zero, uh, which isn't what you want in your sixth threat. <laughs> yeah, that's tough. Um, John, are you... No, uh, for sure. Uh, my... oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, Kyle. No, my other question you'd kind of covered as Okoye living was kind of the, the big deal. Oh, but on Okoye, um, why did you send Juggernaut after her um, on the start of round two? Uh, he's one of the models that can reliably displace and was in a position to affect most of the board, whereas everyone else was still kind of on your side. So I was just wondering why you went with him into Okoye, even though it ultimately didn't work out because Akwe is apparently a god. Uh, I think um, Pat had Miles over here on three power within two of Juggernaut. So if it didn't happen, it would have just been a steal. Um, so it was trying to get him out of range of the Miles and also put the Akoye down. Um, but uh, yeah. John, are, um, you, uh, are you going to WTC this year? That's a long way away for me, unfortunately. It'd be great to get an Aussie team over there, but um, uh, we'd need a, uh, an anonymous benefactor. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Uh, Pat, are you, uh, are you going to WTC this year? Oh, yeah, we're going. We're, I'm in one of the England teams. I'm in Team England 51% affiliated <laughs> and looking forward to the event. Very cool. I'm, uh, I, I'll be able to see you there, so that'll be, uh, that'll be exciting. And Cal's going cool. is going to be there as well, so that'll be uh, that'll be cool. Um, all right, well, thank you very much for letting us uh, stream this game, and uh, congratulations to both you guys for making it and making it into the top sixteen out of two hundred and fifty plus players that participated in the uh, the Swiss events, and uh, and congrats to you, Pat, for advancing into the top eight. So, um, yeah, uh, good luck, uh, good luck in that match, and. Uh, John, I hope we get to see you in the next league. Yeah, thanks. 20 seconds before you, I dissolve into the pile of corpses under Pat's boot. <laughs> uh, a big shout out to my big brother who gets a game in with me every week and is sick of brotherhood. Uh, also, Frederick, um, Oceania League's newest immigrant. He helped me get a few games in against Wakanda and learn the ropes. Um, all the Perth crew as well for keeping MCP going. And also to TT and Pat, the best damn podcast on the internet. Check them out at acrossthebifrost.com. <laughs> Thank you for the shout out. Appreciate it. Thanks, game, guys. Uh, have, a, have, a great, uh, have a great weekend. Thanks very much. You See you guys. See ya. All right. That's another stream. Top eight, Pat advances. And uh, thanks, Kahal, for joining me on the uh, on the stream. That was a pleasure. And I have we have another game coming up in about four and a half hours. That's uh, Kyle versus Tony, I believe is uh, yeah. Kyle versus Tony is happening in three and a half hours. So tune into that. That'll be a lot of fun. We'll see who uh, who else makes it into the top eight. I'll catch you uh, next time. <laughs>